He walks mostly everywhere because he has to. An Apache Junction man reaching out to Operation Safe Roads because he's legally blind in his daily route takes him along a stretch of road without a proper sidewalk. Yeah, not only that, but he's concerned about the kids, the students who attend schools in that area. ABC 15 investigator Megan Thompson walking alongside him tonight seeing what could be done. He can't go out in the early morning or at night. Mike DeWeger's independence confined with the rise and fall of the sun for his daily walk near Southern Avenue and Ironwood Road. I've got zero central, vi I've, I've got peripheral vision to some degree. It's, it's a retinal disease. The disease making it nearly impossible to differentiate between the blacktop path for pedestrians and the road for cars. I've, I've used my cane a few times. And I, I can feel where the asphalt is but by feet, but usually, you know, if I go off this way, I know rock. Mm -hmm. But so far, I haven't wandered too far up that way. <laughs> Just by chance or? <laughs> Just by luck. But his biggest concern is right here, where the pathway for pedestrians leads them to walk directly next to passing cars. There's not even a barrier with a curb, just a line painted on the roadway. And I called the city, they say, well, we can't really do it. And um, that's why I called you guys. Mike says the Apache Junction Public Works Department told him they couldn't fit any upgrades into the budget. But as Operation Safe Roads began looking into the issue, we noticed this a community meeting for sidewalk improvements just up the road on Southern. But it does not include any repairs for the area Mike is concerned about. There are some things we can we can look at. Apache Junction's Director of Development Services, Larry Kirch, acknowledging this area could use some big changes and that whoever Mike talked to with the city should have got him in contact with their ADA coordinator. In this particular case, I think that's where we probably missed a step. But now, Kurt says they're looking at possible long-term and short-term solutions. We may be able to just put in some curb along the length of the most hazardous parts. That I think we could probably do fairly quickly. The harder part, working with the owner of this lot to see about moving the pathway onto their property so pedestrians will have a safer amount of space. But when that would happen is still unclear. The city says they're looking to their budget now for answers and we'll keep you and Mike updated on their progress. Do you have a concern in your own neighborhood that you want Operation Safe Roads to look into? You can give us a call or shoot us an email. It's roads at abc15.com. Reporting in Apache Junction for Operation Safe Roads, I'm Megan Thompson.